Well, back from Spain, and I must admit, when I've been away, it's always hard to motivate yourself to fish in England. It really is, honestly. It's it's weird, and uh, uh, it's just what it is. But we had a great week, and uh, can't wait to get back in three or three weeks, lads. So uh, did really well. But we're back on the scene, and uh, it's Wednesday. And it's the Wednesday final. What you had to do is uh, win a match on a Wednesday to qualify for today. And uh, uh, Doncaster AA have given all the Peggy money, and we've we've been saving up all year with different things. So it's quite a big payout today. And hopefully a nice Chinese there. There's a little coaches there. And it's a lovely day to be honest with you. So to, for Southfield, as you can probably get, get together, that's where we are at Southfield. And. Uh, beautiful wind off back so it's like a southerly wind um, and it's, it's quite warm to be honest with you so there you go oh, now here look having a drink what's he got for his dinner a little bit of corned beef a bit of beef and some biscuits so spoil him I know um, so I haven't been for a few weeks since since uh, Feeder King final which uh, Mick uh, keeps reminding us all of but play to him he did brilliant didn't he the fish a really, really really good match and today I've drawn 24 and I don't think this is right end if I'm honest but like we keep talking about you never know at this place you really don't if I could put really today uh, if I could put my tattle 30 to I don't know 46 I'd be more than happy so up here I'm not, I'm not sure I'm not sure they're catching many but who knows wind wind off back, I think we need it to fish hard, if fish as well I don't think there's a chance but uh, anyway, we're, we're in good company, there's Mick Axon up there and the one and only John Kelly so we'll be well and truly entertained and would you believe he's not there but I've got Trev Parking next peg again like I did in Feeder King uh, we don't have the same result, otherwise we're in a lot of trouble so it's a good payout and your sections are five so my section goes to Trev, tough section but they all are out at the end of the day only everybody knows the game now, they know what to do and uh, basically, uh, yes, a few, few more bits and bobs through now. Ground bait there, look. See, I uh, ain't changed my ground bait. Uh, Whether well, it's going to be a fish meal. Two of my marvellous rods are 12 and a 13. I've only set two rods up. I'm going to fish 50 and 60 and see how we go. The all round ones will be out next year. They've had a great, great interest at all the shows. So, really chuffed with that. Uplands box and in my bait tray, you can see I've no pellets, you can't use pellets, anything like that. Uh, Casted and worms, straightforward, we, we don't complicate it here. Um, so it's as simple as that, really. Um, new nitro rod dress look. Um, so we're getting bits and bobs through from Tattle for next year as well, and uh, we'll just have to uh, wait and see. But to be honest with you, I think we're fishing for his zone here section. I think that is. But I've always told you, if you come here and you can walk up one of them ramps just there, say look just there, there's three you open the door off because that's where all the pleasure anglers go. And they walk up and put the tattle on these two or three pegs here. Um, so yeah, I'm not grumbling about the area. There's no wrong with area. I'd like to be that side of the ramp, but I'm not. So. But if you can walk up one of them ramps, you won't be far out of fish. Because, like I said, pleasure anglers just park and walk there, and that's where the fish So There's always some bait going in. So, we'll see. But it's a lovely day. Current bun's out. I brought it back from Spain. And uh, looking well into it. So, I'll let you know how we go on. Have a great day. Well, that's the end of the uh, Wednesday winners. Um, what a match that was. Wow. <laughs> Honestly. After an hour and a half, I'd seen two little fish netted up there. After an hour and a half, I looked round, Kelly, up next to MPEG, got a bream. And then I got one. And then... Got one, Trev got one, lost one, got one. Look round. Kelly got 77 puts. Like, instantly, as it's bottom. Bream, not skimmers. And you're like, wow. And I couldn't get a bite. And then after about two hours, it's gone round and I've had four in four puts. Then couldn't get a bite. Kelly's kept printing on the net. And I thought I was going to catch him up. 
and uh, and then and then I got two in two pulls at three o'clock, and I've had two in two pulls at quarter to three, at quarter to four, just before end. So I've got nine bream, little as to be two pounds. So I'll have twenty two pound, I think, which won't win. I might win a default section if Kelly gets in. Kelly got about fourteen. He could win match. I need him to get it top three, I think, because uh, it's. I've never seen as many nets go out. Honestly, up there, all I've done is seen nets go out. There'll be, you'll need thirty pound to win a section, I think. Honestly, I've, I've not seen this late fish as well for ages and ages, and it just goes to show this autumn comes in now, warms up a bit. Um, the the, the bream are feeding, and our fish sixty meters just there. And, I've, and whether it's a bit too far, I don't know. But like I said, I've had nine bream, I've had nine bites, nine bream, and uh, just unbelievable. He's got uh, Mickle ends got seven, seven fish, but he's got five. It says five skimmers in that. Phil next Peggy, he's got five bream. Uh, Trev's got five bream, and it's just like wow. But I'll tell you something. This is what we, this is. These lads come for this kind of fishing, and uh, it, it's been good. So uh, hopefully Kelly will win it. And uh, and the best entertainer on the bank is Mr. Kelly. I like love to be at side him. We have a, all, all us have a look at him. Look at him grinning there. You see him grinning. He thinks he's won it. I hope he has. And. Uh, I reckon he'll have £35, I reckon, uh, 30 to £35, so uh, we'll have to wait and see, and I think I've got £22, something like that, which I think I'll get a section default if Kelly gets in top three, which is under a quid, so it'll be a Chinese, so, but best bait today was just a bit of worm and a, and a maggot, and I just sat there, and every fish have pulp rodded, like pulp rodded, and I've had, out of the nine, I've had five within two minutes and everybody that's caught, when they were there, everybody's caught me little spells of twos and threes, twos and threes, and apart from Kelly, he got seven. Honestly, when he caught seven, nobody else had got more than one, and it was like, put it bottom, went round, it bottom, went round. I'm not sure he fished as far as me, I fished 60, and I think he fished, um, looked about 50 to 55 here, which is line at this time of year. But what a match that's been, honestly. I, I can't wait to see what we're doing because there'll be a load of £20. And if you'll get £20 on this lake, on the East Lake, I'll tell you something, you normally pick, pick if not winning it, you'll always pick money up. But I bet you don't today. But uh, let's wait and see. It's getting a bit overcast now. Looks like that storm's coming in. So let's get packed up uh, and, and get on. Wow, that were unbelievable that today. Honestly, it's like... I've weighed 26 pound two ounce and uh, that's nine fish and uh, Kelly weighed 44 pound and he's come second Scott Rispin uh, beat him we uh, we about six ounce they both had 44 pound and Scott's beat him we uh, <laughs> about six ounce and there were two thirties I think our fifth were 26 pound and so I've got a, a section default. Um, so I've got a little Chinese, something like that. But wow, that, that's just like, where did that come from? It's, yeah. you know, like the, the last two months have been a nightmare at Southwood because it's been full of little ropes that big. When I say little ropes, quarter ounce, half ounce for a big one. You, you, your tip were like that all the time. You cast out and it would just, it's been a nightmare. And gone today and been done. Obviously, it's got a bit colder, knocked them off, and it's gone back to autumn fishing. But I don't know how many twenty pounds has been today. I mean, although I'm, I've got fifth weight with twenty six. I know six or seven or eight or nine other twenty pounds that I know of uh, that you know that's between twenty and me, and mine, and they were all big fish. Like a lot of side me, I've had nine for twenty twenty um, twenty six pound. Uh, I forget his name inside of me. Uh, he had six, weighed twenty three something, and uh, Mick or Mpeg had twenty four pound with seven fish, and uh, just big ones. It, it was brilliant to be honest with you. It's great to see. Um, so, so yeah. So uh, I've had nine pulls, and they've pulled rodding. They were hungry, and the tow were ridiculous. I mean, today, in the first three hours, the tow, your rod were nearly sideways. You had to put a bow in it. I actually lifted the, the rod up two foot off water just to keep light uh, braid out of the water. And, uh, wow, it was unbelievable, honestly. So, yeah, so, uh, good day. 
And as long as it stays mild, there's going to be some good fishing down at Southfield. Um, so, and I think that's the last time I'll be fishing it now, um, uh, this win this uh, year. So, uh, but thanks to thanks to uh, Mick Axon and Andy, they've been brilliant again, and Parco for uh, what they've done this year. They've been unbelievable, really. They really have. Uh, as, as always, they're in a great match. They do a lot for us, and you know, lads really appreciate it. So, so thanks, lads, really appreciate it. And uh, we'll get ready for next year now. And uh, but all lads all go to Southfield. They're going to have some good fishing now. Uh, they're going to have some good fishing now. If it next probably six week, eight weeks until it gets too cold, because all them big ones are in. And uh, long time since I've seen as many big weights in that lake as there. A long time. I mean. Half at field had over twenty pound, I think today it were crackers. So be great to see. So, uh, so that's it for me now, Southfield, and uh, get ready for me all my commercial fishing now, and uh, and and get ready for that. So, uh, but I, I've enjoyed today. I really have. And with Kelly coming second, uh, it, it'll be gutted not winning it with six hours. It'll be proper gutted about that. Um, but uh, but some good liars today. He said he hadn't got thirty pound and weighed forty four. Uh, Mick Axon said he got. Five skimmers and two and two things for for not a lot and weighed twenty three pounds. They're all great bigger, all bigger than mine. <laughs> Fisher Bernard, I don't know. Have a great night.